Good afternoon, Year 4. Welcome to your history lesson. Today I'm just about to share my screen with you. OK, could you write today's date, Tuesday the 2nd of March, and today's learning objective to explore Hadrian's Wall? OK, I'm going to start today with this picture. This photograph, I'd like you to have a really good look at it and to write down all the things that you can see. And then what can you infer from all the things that you can see? Pause the video and have a think about that now. Now, as you can probably observe, this is a photograph and you can see there is some walls or some buildings or certainly the remains of some buildings. It looks like the buildings here, there might have been a room and a corridor and there might be a, a road just there. And there seems to be a wall on this side and it does seem to be, doesn't it, perched high on what looks like a hill. The weather does look a bit grim, doesn't it? It's quite sunny here, but very changeable because it looks like it might um, rain. And there are some people standing around and walking around in modern clothes. Let's do some guesses with those observations. The fact there are people walking around and they are in modern clothes, and I think this man here is holding a camera, tells me that this is probably an area where people come to visit, maybe as a tourist site. Looking at the weather, I can guess it's probably Britain because it does look like it's a bit sunshine and showers. And it is high up, so I wonder if this place is a place where you can see really well. I can see these people looking over at the distance, and I wonder if this is a very good viewing place. The fact that the walls are all broken down tells me that this must be a ruin. And because we've been learning about the Romans, I wonder if this is the ruin of a Roman building or a town or maybe a wall. You've probably guessed. This is a picture showing the ruins of Hadrian's Wall. And today we're going to be finding out all about Hadrian's Wall, where it is, why it was built and why it was useful to the Romans. Let's read a little bit now. As I read to you, I'd like you to follow with your finger. The Picts. Scotland was known as Caledonia during the Roman era, and many Caledonian tribes fought battles against the Romans who tried to take their land. In AD 84, the different tribes all banded together to form a group that called the Romans called the Picts, after the Romans defeated them in a big battle. However, the Romans did not take on, go on to take Scotland, as the Roman army was called back home to Italy to deal with some other issues. This meant that Scotland never became part of the Roman Empire. According to the Romans, the Picts were a feisty, formidable force who kept raiding their territory in Britain. The Romans wanted a way to separate their land from the Picts. The solution for dealing with the frequent attacks from the Picts came in the form of a great wall. The Roman Emperor Hadrian is best known for building this wall across northern Britain, which helped the Romans defend their occupied land. The wall also meant that the Romans could control who was entering and leaving Roman territory and charge taxes for those who wanted to come in. The Romans began building the wall in AD 122. It took around six years to build. The wall was built by three Roman legions, 15,000 men, using mostly stone. It was 1,000, sorry, 117 and a half kilometres long, or 80 Roman miles, up to six metres high and three metres wide. This meant that two Roman soldiers could perform sentry or guard duty side by side. Pause my video now to watch the BBC Bite Size clip. You'll find the address on Classroom Dojo and also on our schedule. Let's have a look at what the wall would have looked like because it wasn't just your average wall. Every 1.5 kilometres, there was something called a mile castle, which contained 20 soldiers. 1.5 kilometres is what a Roman called a mile. There are also turrets guided by soldiers every 500 metres. And there were some major forts built along the wall every eight kilometres. These forts could accommodate between 500 to 1,000 soldiers. They were bigger than most small towns. Imagine you're a soldier stationed at the fort along Hadrian's Wall. Your task is to complete the information below about the wall. Use the word bank to help you. So use these words 
to write the full paragraph. Pause the video and have a go at that now. Let's go through the answers. Soldiers began Hadrian's Wall in AD 22. The wall was built out of stone. Emperor Hadrian, oops. Emperor Hadrian ordered the wall to be built. The wall was built on top of, oh sorry, the wall was built to stop the Picts from invading Britain. The wall starts at Bowness and Stowaway and ends at Wall's End. Along the wall there are forts, turrets and mile castles. The wall is three metres wide and six metres high. It is one point, sorry, 117, I think and a half, isn't it? Um, kilometres long. Right, now this is what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to draw a diagram of the wall, making sure you show a mile castle, a turret and a fort. Now you could use a map or an online atlas to draw Hadrian's Wall on your map. Label the places on it um, and all the other places that run through it, that it runs through. If you'd like to find out a bit more about Hadrian's Wall, you can click on this, which again can be found on Classroom Dojo and on your, um, your, um, your timetable for today.